okay, I thought I would do really quick <laughs> um, readings for each sign. And by quick, I mean like under a minute for each sign. Um, and I think I'll start with Capricorn. So, higher self. What is the message of Capricorn? Okay. Um, for one, <laughs> so I heard something about doctor's office, but also this is a new beginning you have the fool okay pretty obvious new beginning um one thing i see here though is that it looks like you are stepping you're like okay i'm gonna go towards this new beginning but i'm also gonna go ahead and take this little thing from my personal environment because it's something sweet and it's something that is going to keep me young and vibrant and help me remember you know where I come from it's like you're stepping into this new energy this new era whatever this new space this new opportunity but you're bringing something with you that's not just you know on your person but something of this environment that you're currently in um, if you've already moved in it's something from the past that you've brought with you um, because it's something that grows and flourishes it's something that's sweet and it's something that is um, maybe just a good reminder of the good of what you learned of the past. Looks like good energy. <laughs> okay, what about Aquarius? What is going on with Aquarius? It's the age of Aquarius. We'll take the Seven of Pentacles. Um, with the Page of Swords. Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Um, looks like development to me. Development of self, development of your work ethic, and your voice. Aquarius, I feel like right now you're learning how to wield the tools that you have in a way that gets you ahead rather than keeping you in the same spot. I feel like rather than, um, I feel like this is a good time for you to learn how to use your fire to get you ahead rather than dig a hole. You know, like if you're someone who's really smart and really quick witted, but you tend to use that energy to, <laughs> towards being sassy and firing back at people and getting yourself into conflict sometimes, it feels like you are now using this energy to maximize on your communication skills and have the ability to really uh, benefit from the gifts that you have that can also be seen as weapons. I think you're turning your weapons into gifts uh that moves you into more prosperous space so this is a development this is higher you know you accessing a, a higher state of being it's also pretty funny and it feels like you're just learning how to be also a little bit more gentle a little bit more patient and remember that the world that you're the aquarian right so you're the alien not everybody has your sense of humor so you might need to be a little softer okay Pisces, what's going on with the Pisces, the fish, Pisceans, Jesus, Jesus' crew, um, the tower, the ace of wands, and the nine of wands, oh, and the moon, okay, so this full moon could be interesting for you guys, I won't show you all the cards because it's too many, but it's loaded, there's a lot going on, I kind of feel like there's one energy of like pick, pick a path, um, pick a path is one energy but I also just feel like Pisces are going through a lot of things um so it's not really one specific channeled message that can come through for some of you guys there is your house is on fire <laughs> and you need to wake up and realize that you are sleeping in a burning house and like yes you are strong yes you are the end of all of the signs and you can handle anything but you need to not put yourself through this. It's not necessary for you to be struggling this much. So get out of the burning house. That's for some of the Pisces. Other Pisces, now is just kind of a time to soak in the energy of the full moon and allow the inner witch wild within you to come out, to come loose. You don't need to be so constrained. You don't need to be so restricted. Other Pisces, um, also affected by the light of the full moon, this is now just a time to mm, explore whatever is coming up creatively. If there's something popping up in your energy, take the time to seek it out, to understand it a little bit more. 
Um, and others of you, it's kind of like you are just trying to push forward this vision that you have. And you kind of just need to keep going. You kind of just need to keep fighting. Um, it will be well worth, worth the wait. Well worth the struggle as well. Overall, as always with Pisces, I see spiritual achievement here. Um, no matter the, the fight. Okay, Taurus, we've got... Oh, no. We're actually Aries. Aries, we've got the Temperance and the Seven of Wands. I mean, can we even be sure that this is Taurus? I mean, that this is Aries because I said Taurus, but we'll see. Guidance, Healing, Moderation, Temperance, and the Seven of Wands. Funny because I feel like Aries, what you are doing is very, like, quintessential for your sign, which is you are cooling off. Cooling off on being the hothead, cooling off on being the one not necessarily the hothead but the one that's always leading the charge that's always leading the pack you are a natural leader but i feel like right now you are taking a step back and allowing yourself to not burn out and trying to find a way to not um always play the bad guy i feel like Aries is tapping into a little bit of a softer edge and realizing or recognizing their own desire to be um, to be protected and to be guided a little bit more instead of always having to be the war general instead of always having to be the leader I feel like Aries is desiring a little bit more shelter and a little bit more protection and I think that that's in alignment with your highest and greatest good so I think you should go ahead and do that um what's going on with Taurus Tardis, 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 Tardisa, Tardisa. Um, Five of Swords. <laughs> I am not sure. I kind of feel like it's a little risky. It feels a little risky for me. I would say to be careful with what you're keeping in your energy. I know that sometimes you feel like you've gotten everything under control but it just kind of feels like you're playing with fire playing with something that's dangerous something that can cut you into a million pieces and it just doesn't make sense so i would get out of this i would unwrap yourself untangle yourself from whatever you are in that is sharp and dangerous because i just don't think it's necessary hot and dangerous they roll with us I just don't think you should be a part of that five of swords. Um, Gemini, 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 Gemini. You are the Gemini of my eye. What is going on with Gemini? Gemini. I'll probably have to split this into two different readings. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. <gasps> oh, that's a lot of cards. Lovers at the back of the deck and the Ace of Eight of Wands. Oh, wow! And the Two of Cups, the Chariot, and the Queen of Pentacles. What? What? The group chat? Yeah, me and Lisa are taking tickets, train tickets right now, and based on the price. Okay, so do you, are you available any week of March? I don't know if I'm going to have the funds. You don't even know if you're coming? Yeah. Like, I, this is one of those situations where it's like, do I get hired this month? Because if I get hired this month, then sure. But if I don't, then probably not. Okay. Um, Gemini. What the heck? This seems like a really great energy. You've got the lovers at the back of the deck. You've got the eight of wands, the queen of pentacles, the cancer chariot, the two of cups, and the four of wands. Um, love? <laughs> I don't know. It just seems very positive. Very positive and very prosperous and very much so in your bag um i like i'm happy for you it's honestly not really like the energy of like you need a reading so much as so like you should just know that the energy looks great like the energy looks fantastic for you guys so congratulations and i'm just so happy for you because like this is amazing energy um also like stop hogging all the good energy because now all those cards are gone and now like the rest of the cards are not getting any of that the rest of the signs are not getting any of those cards because you took them all it's also giving abundance though so with the queen of pentacles especially it's it's and and even cancer and then yeah, I mean, the four of wands the two of cups yeah it's really fabulous energy congratulations gemini congratulations i'm gonna start over and go to cancer